How to solve a Rubik's Cube, the easy method. Hey, today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. So, first, what you need to know is what the, um, uh, how you're going to solve it. What I do is layers. Uh, this is the first layer, the, uh, the top, and this line right here. The second layer is this line right here, and the third layer is this right here, and the bottom. So, you can start with one side. I always start with the white because it has this little cool logo on it. But you can choose whatever color you want. So, first by solving this white cross, if you already know what the algorithms are, you can solve it. For the beginning, solving this side, there aren't very many algorithms, but there are some. First, we'll start with the edges getting the edges. So first, let's find a white edge piece. Here's one. It is kind of hard to see, but blue and white. So uh, first, we want to, you can either turn it this way or this way. I turn it this way so it can get onto the bottom. Once it's on the bottom, you twist it, both of these two, around until you match up the blue with whatever it is so that it's white and blue and blue and then you turn it 180 degrees and then it's white white blue blue in some cases when you turn it the wrong way uh, it can get like this and it can be white green white green so switched around the algorithm is pretty simple. It's this, so this, this, then that, then that. And then as you can see, it's white, white, green, green. So you just did that. And I'm gonna put this one back because I kind of messed it up while doing this. Actually, I shouldn't do that. Uh, actually, I'll just won't worry about that one right now. So when one's in the bottom and you don't want to do that algorithm or have to memorize it, I like to put it up to the side um, and and because if it's right here, then you can put it up to the side and then put it down so that it's on the bottom, even though there may be one on the top. So. What I like to do is do that and then flip it again, put it up. And there it is. We have two edge pieces and we need to keep going. Um, so put that down, even though there is already one up here. Let's put it down. Flip around to the red. And then you can actually go back to that other one and then fix it. It doesn't really matter if you mess up the bottom because we're just going to be messing that up later anyway. Um, so we have three edge pieces done and there's one left. You can just do the algorithm on this one because white, blue, white, blue. I will. Um, and now we have all four. You need to mess up all of these corners that aren't done because watch the whites right here and that's lined up it's red and blue but blue and orange so that doesn't even match so you can just put it down and slide it out right there this one is still not missed so now we have the white cross we need to put in the corners so with the corners you need to find them that are right here on this side and then this is green and orange and this is green and orange and green so that's already there which is pretty nice so turning it away from here you need to turn it down and turn it the bottom over and then put it up and that's all you have to do and then 
for this one, it's out of order. It's supposed to be right here, but it's right here. So what I do is I mm, put it put it down, and then I flip the bottom twice. As you can see, it's up here. And then you flip this back up there so you get the cross. And then flip this over once more. And then flip this to the bottom. And then flip the bottom twice again. Put it up. Put the bottom over and put this and then do the same thing and over and now you have two corners done and they're lined up as you can see it's green and red now we need two more corners one's up here but all you have to do is the same as if it were right here so just flip it down flip it over flip it over flip it up flip it over flip it down flip it over flip it over Actually, I did that wrong. Here we go. You put it into so it's underneath it, and then once it's underneath, you can line it up with the one it's it's with, and then you can flip it over, down, over, over, up, over, down, over. And now we just need one more corner. That is right here. So we do the same thing twice that way and then this up this over this down this over this over this up this over this down and this over and then you just put it up and there you go you finish this whole side plus this now you flip it upside down so that the opposite color is on the white is on the bottom is on the top now so I have yellow because yellow is the opposite of blue I mean white sorry um uh, now what we're gonna do is these edges these edges and you see up here you need to find edge pieces that are not the color of the middle even though they're out here sometimes these two edge pieces do these don't so let's do this one see this right here you match it up with the one it is and then you look on top this is red so we need to look is it to the left no it's to the right so you do the algorithm for what it is to the right it, and when you do it uh, yeah And now as you can see, it's lined up now. And let's go to our other one, and you flip it until it matches up. And it's to the left this time, so we'll do this algorithm, and it's the same thing as if it were to the right, except backwards. So it's... Sorry, I'll do this again. And now I line that one up. Now we only have two left. Uh, let's do this one. It's orange and blue. Blue is to the right, so let's do that one. Um, and now that one's lined up. We have one left, and as you can see, it's, it's in the right place, but the colors are flipped around. Flipped around. So, um, and all of these ones on the right, on the top, are yellow. See, that one's yellow right there. This one's yellow right here. This one's yellow right here. And this one's yellow on top. So we can't use any more. So I like to use this method called substitution, which is you choose any one, it doesn't matter, to go in the place of where it is. Uh, it doesn't matter if you do it from the right or to the left.
And now you've substituted it into the top. And if you look around on the top, that's the corner, the edge piece that I had. So I'd flip it around it, match it again, and put it in the right way this time. And now my second layer is done. We're doing this. Um, so now what we're going to do is do this top. So uh, you can either have the dot, just the dot there. Don't worry about the corners here. You can either have the dot, the L, the bar, or the whole cross. If you have the whole cross, you don't have to use this. I have the bar here. Uh, if you have the bar, always hold it horizontal as you're doing it. Horizontal. If you have the L, always put it in the top right. And if you have the dot, it doesn't matter where you put it. So you do this. And then as you can see, it'll go to the next one. From the dot, to the L, to the bar, to the cross. Once you're done with the cross, you can look around at this. And you can see which of these our crosses are done. So I have this one solved, and none of my other ones are solved. So I'll use this method, put it to, if you have one, put it to the right. If you have two, uh, put it to the right and to the back. Or if they're adjacent, put it to your front and to the back. So mine, I just have one, so I'm just putting it to the right. So there we go. Um, yeah. And now I have two solved, so I'll put one to the right and one to the back, and I'll do it again. So that's good. Now I have all of my crosses. And now what we need to do is do these corners on the top. If I look at them, only one of them is solved. This one isn't solved, this one isn't solved, and this one isn't solved. So, I'll have it in the top left corner and do this algorithm. And now I have it solved. You can either have two right next to each other. You can just keep doing this over and over until it's actually solved. These, at least two corners, actually just two corners. You have the if you have one and one, uh, have you can have two uh, together or two across from each other. Uh, I have two together, so I put the t uh, this one in the top, the unsolved in the top left, and behind it is the next one in the top left. It if it's in if it's across from each other, just put one of them into this and you do this algorithm uh, repeatedly. Uh, yeah. Until one of the your corners is solved. And then you flip this top one, not the whole thing, just the top one until you get to it. If you have it across from each other, you can flip it twice if you need to, and then keep going until the Rubik's Cube is solved. And then once I'm done with that, you flip it a few times until it gets to it, and you just solve the Rubik's Cube. Uh, yeah, make sure to share this with all your friends.